government is doing really well by kind of making it sort of a mandate for the companies to adopt those practices where they would not be able to avail subsidies even if they wouldn't use like for example bio cng so those are the things which will going to help to transition so i believe uh, from diesel cng lng definitely there will be a phase when ev will going to be tried and tested but ev again so i think things would not completely change energy is something that you know uh, you know the, the solid fuel side of the things you know the conventional the non renewable will also be there but definitely the percentage will going to kind of you know change accordingly so electricity will going to be a preferred option for maybe some time but along with it you know lng adoption will going to come in and hydrogen will going to start coming into the picture but ultimately hydrogen is the one that will going to kind of you know make the permanent solution for the heavy duty trucking industry because think about it you get water as a by product no emissions i mean like zero emissions and that's where you know uh prime minister narendra modi at cop 26 when he announced net zero by 2070 so that's one of the things and that's why even in the budget you know 35000 plus has been allocated towards the national uh, national hydrogen mission and india wants to become the net exporter in next 5 to 10 years and hydrogen is something that really really would change the economy is not just you know you know definitely vehicles is number one because that kind of you know not just increase our dependency on other countries for fuel or for crude but also creates a lot of pollution so it's a self sustainable thing if you're going to start doing hydrogen but apart from that you know ammonia steel and a lot of other industries which are reusing different sort of hydrogens right now from gray blue brown so and you know and i think because of those things which are going on around in the world and the gas is becoming very expensive you know after that uh if between russia and ukraine i think sustainable future of you know hydrogen becomes less costly and with more coming in one more players coming in with more funds coming in more support from the government coming in i believe it will gonna be transition to hydrogen and as a entire economy the deal because like right now as we were talking about natural gas because when i talk to these scientists who are working specifically in petroleum they were also like that we have to reduce the dependency on natural gas as well because we are importing natural gas and apart from that that's why we need to build you know import substitutes and all these initiatives are talking about farm to fuel and the one you were talking about i feel that they will play a very important role